Amazing. Thank you guys so much for taking your time to talk with me. Uh, Dan, how did this project, did you see it like from the start and you're like, okay, I have a vision for this or was it something that sort of, you know, you found, you're like, okay, we're on set here. I think this is the best way to shoot it. Well, you know, this this project came to me from a gentleman by the name of Matt Tucci, uh, who kind of he, he came up with the concept and, and wrote the story. Uh, and then Chad Verdi Jr., uh, who's a producer that I've worked with many times, uh, kind of brought it to my attention. And I, I've made some uh, some movies in these genres before, and I've always gravitated towards the family comedies and things like that. And this the script just kind of had a sense of heart to it. Uh, I've always been a fan of birthdays. I think that it's everybody's kind of special day to to shine and have a little personal holiday. Uh, and the fact that this was a story about a, a little girl who kind of starts and like a little bit of a downward point and, and then kind of builds herself up as the movie goes on. I really like that about the story. And I love the, the Mr. J character. I love the fact that there was this like father time, almost like a Santa Claus of birthdays, if you will. Uh, and I love that about the story. And I, I like, you know, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but I like the, the flip at the ending, how, uh, you know, this Barry character, if he works hard and he does right by people and if he's kind, you know, maybe some good things can happen. Maybe there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow for him. Um, so just a lot of great themes. And it was a great opportunity to, to make a wholesome movie. And how involved then were you with the casting? Uh, you know, I, I was fairly involved. Uh, also, Chad Birdie Jr., you know, being a producer, uh, uh, Paul Luba, those guys had a lot to do with the casting as well. Um, but I, I love this cast that we brought together. I mean, everyone from obviously Eric is just like, uh, you know, you can't have all rainbows and ice cream in this movie. We needed a little bit of a, of a bad guy. We needed a little bit of a foil. Um, but as much as he's a bad guy, he's not this evil character. He's kind of funny. I mean, he comes off as Eric shows a lot of his like amazing comedic chops in this film because he's hilarious. It's my favorite. It's, it's a laugh every time he kind of opens his mouth. He's got a lot of classic lines and we improv a lot of things. And, you know, we've been talking, we've been doing a lot of these interviews today. And like one of the things that, you know, is great about this is the script is the script and, you know, it's written to a certain point, but it wasn't until people like Eric come on set and embody the character and personalize it and bring their own nuances and, really make this thing start to shine. So the cast, I can't say enough great things about them. Charlotte Ciano uh, played our, our little girl in the film and so she's from Rhode Island. She was kind of a, this local standout, you know, where we filmed the movie. So it's really great to make a film where, <clears throat> excuse me, where you can, you can have a kind of a, a local actor who gets their shot to star in a movie like this and they can play opposite someone like an Eric Roberts who's been nominated for an Academy Award. It's really great to kind of have that that mix and and to see what can happen on set when you get these kind of uh you know the, these kind of synergies together eric was there something about rick or even the concept for mr birthday that really were like i've got to embody this person well i have to be honest with you it was more the entire project i'm in this movie because um it promotes the cause of kindness and I don't get a lot of opportunities to do that as an actor. <laughs> and so when I was offered this, I thought, well, I'm going to go promote the cause of kindness. And uh, that's and even though I play a guy who's not who's not who's you know he's comedically kind of a foil, but he's not a bad guy. He's just not a great person. <laughs> Is that not an oxymoron? Anyway, uh, uh, but but uh, but. Um, and you know, Dan was was a treat for me. In that you know, Dan, I liked I liked watching Dan direct. And you know, Dan Dan's very young. And Dan's just starting, and I am not. So so it's like it's like fun for me to watch guys like Dan because Dan Dan's a winner. Dan's going to make really good movies. And uh, the effect that he made this movie about 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 the subject that it's about says a lot about Dan. And Dan's like this. Dan is a birthday guy and uh i'm proud of knowing <laughs> thank you very much eric sure <laughs>
Talk about working with Jason. I know that you mentioned, uh, Dan mentioned actually that there was a bit of improv uh, on the set. Talk about getting to work with him. Well, Jason, it, J J Jason is a genius. And uh, Jason, you have to get out of the way of and uh, allow it to happen. If you, if, you, if, you, if you try to dance with it, you're gonna fall down. So you don't. You just get out of the way and let him do his thing and you add your stuff when it's appropriate and you hope it's gonna all come out in the edit. <laughs> One of my favorite scenes is uh, with you and Jason and you're kind of, he's just mopped and you're kind of like dancing around the wet spots. <laughs> and <laughs> what were some of your favorite moments to film? Uh, well, that that was one. Uh, that was one because that just kind of happened. And, uh, but, but, you know, uh, as an actor, to be face to face with a comedic genius on set is very difficult because I'm not a comic. I'm also not uh, viscerally funny. I'm just not. And so when you're with somebody who is, it always makes you feel a little behind, but it's fun. It's like being on a ride that, that okay, I'm not in control, but <laughs> I'm here. And uh, that's kind of how it felt. And. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not scared of anything. So it's like, okay, here we go. And, uh, and, and uh, uh, it was absolute joy making this movie. Dan, were there particular shots that you found you enjoyed more or less shooting? <laughs> you know, <clears throat> there's, there's one really challenging scene that I remember, which was the kind of culminating moment at the end when we find out uh, that Mr. J is in fact behind the whole birthday build the, the building and the birthday organization. And that was just a challenging scene because anytime you have to film a scene with almost every actor in the movie, like that scene has every actor in the movie in it. You, you're dealing with all your talent, uh, which is exciting because we have all these great fun people on set. But for me, it's challenging because now it's like, you've got to map out, how am I going to cover this? How am I going to film all this? How is everybody going to get their due? Naturally, like we talked about all these great little nuances, everybody's doing these kind of cool little beats and micro beats and you want to do it justice and make sure you cover it properly. Um, so I remember that was a challenging scene to shoot. And I remember, believe it or not, this is kind of a funny little thing I do. I, I collect action figures and I like having my little, my little toys around. And it's not just because I like collecting them. A lot of times what I'll do is I have a box and I'll bring them to set. And on that day in particular, like, I, I had all my action figures out and I was playing with them as if like, okay, I'm going to put the camera here. Then I'm going to have these guys swing around. And I was doing my blocking like, with these little men uh, because it was the only way I could kind of map out how am I going to move around these, whatever it was, it was like eight or nine principal actors in one scene with all these different, and everybody had a different entrance moment. Everybody had a different cue. So it was a lot. So that was the one scene that keeps me up at night, but we pulled it off. I love that scene in the movie and everybody brought their A game. So uh, that comes to mind. And also just to, you know, I'll wrap it up, but just shooting in downtown Providence. I mean, I, I grew up in Rhode Island. So, you know, that that's where I always went to go to, whether it was, you know, a teenager hanging around or going, to, going, to, going out as, a, as in my twenties or whatever it was. It's great to, to photograph a city that you're familiar with. Eric, what do you think it is about Mr. Birthday that's gonna make it a fast fan favorite? I think sort of a dark comedy, but also a sweet comedy. <laughs> well, it's, it's an uplifting film. It's about, it's about the, uh, the celebration of life, hence, hence the title Mr. Birthday. But, uh, but you know, when, when, you're, when your premise is, you have a heartbreaking phenomenon of having a birthday party that almost no one shows up to. And you have a guy that has a business that is, has a remedy for this. It's just happiness on top of happiness on top of happiness. And quite frankly, uh, I'm in this movie to promote the cause of kindness, as I said, yes. and I think it does. And I think it does it well in a very kind, kind, gentle way without without you beating you over the head with some kind of moral lesson no it just makes you feel good and this is something we all need right now we've had 
you know, two years, it's been impossible to be a child. It's been really hard. And if you are a little kid where you don't really understand everything yet, it's been terrible. So this is a movie to help make it nicer. I was going to say, Dan, you know, what kind of fan response have you been receiving or viewer response have you been receiving so far from the film? Just a lot of positivity. You know, I can't be, uh, can't stress that enough. Just everybody seems to get a really great feeling when they watch the movie. And I think that's because we can all relate to having a birthday, you know, uh, we all have a special day that, you know, gets celebrated and maybe we've all even, you know, we've all maybe felt a, a neglected in one way, shape or form at one time or another. Uh, and that's okay too. Um, so I think that people are just kind of, you know, it's, it's an easy story to kind of cling to. Well, those are all of my questions. So thank you so much, both of you, for talking about this wonderful film. I really do think it's quite timely, as Eric mentioned, that um, it gives you a bit of uplift, especially now. And as he said, kids don't really understand what's going on. So I think this will give a little bit of parental, uh, <laughs> give a little, little nod to parents to truly understand maybe what they're going through as well. No, thank, thank you, Jamie. That. That's so cool. Thank you. Appreciate My that. pleasure. Be safe, both of you, and be well. Thank Thanks, you. Jamie. Bye.